Can we start, ladies and uh, gentlemen? Uh, thank you very much uh, for coming on the day of the day for one of the days. Uh, at such very, very short notice uh, to uh, receive and hear the uh, goodwill message of meat and greetings from the Secretary General. Most of the time we send uh, written messages of goodwill to Gambians, regardless of faith. But uh, it is a very special time. We live also in very uh, challenging times. We live in the era of uh, COVID-19. And uh, we are really very uh, worried about uh, the lives that have been lost. We are constantly concerned about a lot of things going on. And as our leader, uh, it is uh, always refreshing to come up with um, new ways of speaking with people, to give them comfort, to give them hope, especially on a joyous occasion like this. Uh, without further ado, uh, thank you again, and welcome, uh, as you say, uh, to give your uh, greetings to the Gambians. Thank you, sir. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. 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 Thank are blessed. This Ramadan has been a challenging one. As we and the rest of the world face a deadly pandemic that has disrupted normal life and imposed substantial difficulties on individuals and society as a whole. Nearly all societal activities of violence from conditional violence and other to vital commercial engagements, as well as everyday living itself, have been vastly affected with short and long-term consequences that are hard to understand. As real and hard as the situation is, we have seen what is best now manifest itself in the past, fresh and compassion of our people and people to attend to in greater need. We are navigating these troubled waters, united on the spirit of caring for each other. I pray that Allah can test our will and ability to forge ahead together and emerge better and stronger from this issue. I want to take a moment to once again thank our frontline headquarters 
for their valiant efforts in keeping us safe under difficult circumstances. With limited resources and acute infrastructure under these challenges, they are trying their best to mitigate the spread of the pandemic that has paralyzed nations that are materially far better and down than us. The frontline workers and our healthcare delivery system itself deserve much more support from one another. That is why we are all upbeat and very concerned about the regulations made by the Public Minister of Health in an address to the National Assembly that he faces a persistent and entrenched public bureaucracy within his ministry that is scheming in multiple illegal ways to divert urgently needed COVID-19 funds for their selfish purposes. This is in addition to instances of inflated material pricing raised by some lawmakers regarding purchases made by government officials from the same fund. It took admirable level of integrity, combined with genuine frustration for the minister to stay with the scheming and corrupt officials into three hours of the morning, forging those names on a fraudulent list these officials repeatedly submitted to him in a bid to divert funds that we are meant for the government and the government. This reprehensible conduct is intolerable, and it is the expectation of the Gambians that the government acts swiftly to avoid this scandalous conduct and behavior by unscrupulous service passes within the civil service. The pandemic must not be used as an opportunity to please the nation. On the contrary, resources mobilized should be utilized. as well as full control of all mobilized resources to ensure he is able to comprehensively address this issue. We must avoid giving him a high standing title without the requisite authority and control over the resources needed to address this project national priority. I would like to heartily congratulate the Constitutional Review Commission for working diligently and consulting widely to produce a draft constitution that broadly reflects why the commissioners have endeavored to produce a document that made us up to work three people in the family of nations. It guarantees fundamental rights to most liberty, appropriate separates and distributes power among the four equal branches of government in ways that represent dominant departure from previous constitutional agreements that have seen excessive power vested in their present branch. It also guarantees permanent limit of two terms to serve as president, which directly reflects the expressed view of the vast majority of Gambians as was evident during the public consultation of the Such a limit would help anchor our new found democracy on a strong footing and ensure leadership and ideas associated with them are subject to change as the new world. Ten years is a little time stay for sincere, well intentioned, and the Conversely, Bad leaders who fail in their responsibilities and trusted them will have a definite and distinct sparring in the nation in the structure of being subject with skilled and leaders who are adept at spiritual enterprises. This gives the government nation an enduring insurance policy that they are hard won democracy. I once again take this opportunity to thank all citizens for their spirit that they call during these difficult times. Let us all continue to be vigilant and follow 
the directives of our health authority to contain this pandemic. Let us cooperate with other government agencies that security services that are engaged in mitigation efforts in tandem with the Ministry of Health in the employment in the continent of the strike of their interests. In a similar way, I would like to appeal to the security personnel to help the population comply with ethics. They are charged with enforcing in ways that minimize adversity for other side. In terms of challenge, I thank you all and we ask our blessings on each of you. We ask our opponent blessings on each of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Leader, on this day, I would like to respond to a few national uh, questions. <coughs> it's a very joyous day. around uh, the DD and uh, certainly around the COVID-19 uh, emergency response therapy. Uh, if I could be able to be happy to answer that. Thank you so much for being on this different uh, speech. It is, it is just like I mentioned, speaking and speaking to you. The thing. Um, I just feel there are people who mention that your party is around the COVID-19 at the National Assembly. What did you say about that? Uh, I think it's really very good to be a Um, uh, with regards to our sister country, Senegal, here, we've been seeing the President Macky Sala inviting you know, opponent in politics. Um, were you invited in Uganda? 
or you have found out anything of such? We were not invited, we have never been invited. Now, I hate to make suggestions from the board that the leader of the social party is discussing with the army that uh, I just make out call to say that we should meet with the government. And uh, all the things will lead us to this agree to my suggestion. But, I mean, uh, we suddenly came across the very close. We couldn't give it on yet. It was in the area of Libya, in our resources. to meet the president, but I call it, and in fact, we have the, uh, a number of really problems. And uh, that's what I had is that, well, I think they just want to come and uh, try to do the good and then the president of us, which I think was quite important. Putting in their money and bring casting kind coming from people. Seen that the government is doing distribution, and we do not want to be seen to be in competition with anybody. So that's why we felt we felt uh, we decided to hold on and see how it finishes. This whole uh, relief and the distribution, and then we go out. But we don't want anybody to think that we are competing with anyone. In fact, uh, uh, our idea came first. Even before government talk of public society, you know, leave. We, 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 we can, and we have went out of the town and uh, deliver to them. Uh, and then we leave it. Uh, while the government and others will go to do it, do their own, then let us do it. And uh, this is for the committee to decide. But we think that now that Ramadan is over, uh, maybe most of our purchases, most of the good items in the market are possible. Be right because what we need is to have is not as a problem as it was in the moment. Um, the uh, I just want to ask them um, how to is it because um, the past week we had the presidential advice on politics saying that and um, UDP is trying to play with the lives of the Gambians. Um, at your position, how true is that? Well, I think that it's probably that I have a very nice question uh, from uh, uh, earlier, uh, earlier when uh, one of your colleagues asked the question. Uh, so I think I have to have an answer. I know it's hard to make for that, and I'm not. In your opinion, what do you say that the government is doing wrong in addressing the COVID-19 issue? Because they've stated that they're from a very serious issue, but still things seem to be where they are. I, I, I think the, uh, in the first place, I think the government should really set an example on those corrupt scheming officers who have put their hands in the COVID 19 fund. This is the nation. I think the government should really set an example. And then also, the government should really have a very good outcome as to how. That uh, uh, 
needs. Uh, I think that the advice should be on fiscal distancing, but there's here of social distancing. And not very to have when you do that. Why Basul? Why not other places? I've, got, I've seen people on I've seen people uh, on the social media who have really trained in their food to be their And that particular one, which was not only fair, but then at the end before that has, I mean, currently, this particular family, they are food that was food. So I look at it, and why do you think that's it? Are you saying it's targeted? Are you saying it's targeted? Well, I'm asking the question. I'm asking the question, because I do not know what I'm asking. But what I'm saying is that I'm afraid to disclose that they should enforce this movement. Um, um, so during the latter days of the Ramadan, uh, a very controversial issue came up that is the EU coming up with a statement supporting LGBT rights in the Gambia. And um, uh, when you came into office, I have said, um, uh, in one of your interviews, I will try to quote you and based, based on what you said, but what you can uh, uh, please follow me. But um, you appeared to say that Germany was using anti gay rights as a means of it with atrocities in Gambia. And um, in the past days, we've seen that the UDP has come up with a statement, also a um, uh, statement that they are not entering. What is really happening in this? Well, uh, the spokesperson has really taken to do with the United States Party. Uh, our constitution, the United States Constitution, plays a lot of emphasis on the Any law that will, any law, any law, or any law that promotes uh, homosexuality. Okay. Any more questions, gentlemen of the press? Yes. Really, uh, that, 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 that really 
Kosi is full decision after all. Why are we saying that? If we are able to do so, um, I don't think we'll be going about looking for help to uh, really provide food for the needy. Uh, what we do today is really about to uh, get funds you know, to improve more on our health infrastructure you know, and to combat you know, very serious this COVID-19 so that uh, we're completely uh, eradicated. And uh, it will automatically uh, uh, I, I think food insecurity uh, is an issue that any government could really address in this country. It's a very serious issue. Uh, poverty is a very serious issue in this country. Uh, the the data from uh, the level of statistics. It's so alarming. It's so alarming that we need to solve this problem. Well, I think we can, and I think uh, I'm serious here. We will be able to do that. Thank you very much. Uh, one, one final question, Paradise Media. Yes, yeah. I'm gonna hint on the issue of the final draft constitution. This is quite new. Look at the independent 
uh, offices. The idea is to share the offices. The constitutional space, this is that space where those people will be deemed to have the qualifications stipulated for the office holder. At EC, the chairman is supposed to be uh, part of the general security or qualified for the title or qualified for the general security. We all know that the current chairman is not even alive. But it is deemed by this constitution, if this appointment is valid, why are they not querying that? I guess what I'm saying that, you know, office, I mean, uh, I mean uh, politician, leaders, who really have no good intention, whose only quest for power or for public office is really, for some other reason, not service to the country. They are the ones who really question this kind of my experience has been that transitional provisions have virtually all been given to resources. They are telling you that this is offices, such as the DMC, and this is the so on, until the legislative order was not existed. But nobody is querying that. Why should you not query that the president's own time goes on under the constitution? If they do not want that, then that election be held under the 1997 constitution, and then the serious people who will form the government in 2021 will conduct the on this draft constitution and make it the constitutional capital. And I can tell you, whoever is elected under that constitution will accept the fact that this term commences under that constitution for the day of the state, not just fully. Uh, qualifications of a uh, uh, retroactive date of birth. That's a lot, you know. But what is avoided, what is avoided is that retroactive criminalization. Legislation affecting vested rights. Who has the vested right? Oh, yes, in the 19th and in the 20th century. Are the rights of the Christians? No rights of the no rights crystallizes. When you satisfy all the conditions, that's when your right crystallizes. And I do not accept. I do not accept. I You cannot choose to be. Consequences of being the president of the Chinese government under this constitution. You cannot, you cannot do it. You cannot approve it. You cannot approve it. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, sorry for taking you back to COVID 19, but uh, as far as I'm five, I Uh, on the foundation where we are being um, yet to see um, fully equipped um, isolation center. Uh, we're looking at the um, provincial barrage as an engine that is already going up and um, so on. Um, for the first time, we're going to say that we don't need to have a fully equipped isolation center. And knowing that also we have photos for us, specifically around our provincial part. Um, so what do you think is lacking as far as you know um, this kind of foundations are concerned?
the personnel to really do so. I think I want to think that Mr. Senghor will address this issue better than I Thank you very much, uh, gentlemen of the press. Um, this brings us to the end of this uh, greetings from Secretary General and party leader. Again, uh, been engaging uh, with the media to try and get across uh, the messages that uh, Gambians need to hear in these uh, very, very uh, anxiety uh, times. So, thank you again for your time on this day. We were late. Um, we had a miscommunication. Yeah. I was.